Gaffer, two long away trips. We're now back at home against Newport this weekend. How much are you looking forward to this one? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, hopefully it's daylight today. Um, the picture was looking great uh, yesterday evening when I went to see it. And, um, you know, so far so good, you know, in terms of our home form. Um, but it's a fixture that will be tough. You know, Newport have done exceptionally well the last couple of games. Uh, but we are looking forward to it. Yeah, they're coming to the game on the back of two good wins against Tramway and Portsmouth. Do you expect them to be full of confidence as a result of that? You'd expect so, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, they were terrific against Portsmouth the other night. They changed the system. Uh, performed ever so well within that, and um, the rest are quite a few players as well. Um, but whichever team they put out, they're going to be contenders come the end of the season. That's all we expect. We've had a week on the training field since the last game. What's been the focus this week behind closed doors? Yeah, we went through um, last Saturday's game uh, immediately on, on Monday morning, and then put that to bed. You know, and, um, after we looked at what areas, you know, were areas of concern on the day and areas to improve, and then we've been positive thereafter this week and uh, worked on different aspects of our performance moving forwards uh, within our shape and um, you know we're keeping it like today. You mentioned the lack of chances created at Barrow, is that an area you want to see an improvement on tomorrow against Newport? Yeah certainly because we've been um, so sort of attacked by the Gillingham uh, and we you know, tried to churn out a similar performance um, and do it with enthusiasm, with, with creativity but it, it, it wasn't the case, was it? You know, and uh, it, that's what we highlighted. Um, but with creativity, you've, you've got to take the hand break off, you know, individually and, and go and play without being too analytical on it. You know, we've got to free the lads up and make them enjoy the game. Looking at the other side of the game, the defensive side, we've had clean sheets in our first two home league games so far against Swindon and Crawley. How important has that defensive solidarity been to the start we've made overall? I think it's imperative, really, you know, for, for the the team, the club's confidence um, that we're better defensively than, than last season and I think we've got mobility across the back so um, now we're looking at the organisational point of view when to um, relinquish a bit of control and be a bit more attack minded at times but um, certainly we're, we're happy we've been uh, and looking more solid. Looking ahead to tomorrow and the team news, George Thompson and Stephen Dooley both out, does that give you a bit of a problem to solve in central midfield? Without doubt those two have been missed, you know they've been um, Excellent so far this season. Um, Stephen Dooley will be back, you know, should be back in next week. Um, Tom will be back you know, in a couple of months, which is a bit of a shock to his system as well as ours. Um, but yeah, we, but we've got good options. You know, uh, we've got George Horbridge trained very well this week. Alex Patterson, you know, we're having a, a late look on him because he, he's had a niggle, um, but uh, he can drop back in uh, into midfield as well. And um, Josh Falkman. Is that another few days training? It's um, still got good options. Just touching on George Thompson, how big of a blow is that losing someone who's been so consistent in being available for selection for the last few seasons? It, well, it is a big blow. You know, we we love Tom Allen and what he brings to the squad, his versatility, his ability from set plays, his his poise and calmness on the ball, um, and also he's physically strong. So he's a really good pack staff. You know, at, at, uh, at Harrogate Town, and it's a, it's a real shame for us. But these are the bumps on the road you have during the course of any season and we've got to be good enough to be able to you know, make sure he's, he's replaced and, and people take responsibility and, and keep us ticking over with and getting the wins. He joins a few of us on the long term injury list with the likes of Max Wright, Rory McArdle to, to name a couple. How much of a worry is that and do you feel like that could prompt us to do a bit more business in the transfer window before it slams shut? Well it's... Um, it was probably more of a, a worry towards the end of last season where it became seven, eight, nine injuries. Um, we still want a perfectly clean slate, you know, so you know, a full bill of health. But um, we have to live a life with that. You know, that's why you invest in the squad, you know, and we've got some, as I already said, some, some good names to come into the team. And, um, you know, with regard to the transfer window, we're still trying to bring one, one more player in. Um, we won't be able to bring in a couple. Um, because we stretched the squad uh, in terms of the budget. Um, but if we can bring one more in, um, and they maybe have to leave it late because the prices drop, you know, in the final final couple of days, then so be it. But um, there's still one more in that attacking area just to add a bit of creativity and goals and competition for places up in the final third. Thank you. Cheers.